Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from ERW Plans, online erwplans.com, on Instagram erw underscore plans, and on Etsy erwplans.etsy.com. Today I'm going to show you two ways to add a key to your passion planner. If you watched my other video, you saw how I added a key to next year's passion planner by putting it in the front page. However, that might not be the most functional when you're trying to plan in the middle of the year and have to keep flipping back to the front. Today, I'm gonna to show you two ways to build a flip out key so that you can have your key out while you're planning. Some tools that we're gonna use, we have our X-Acto knife, a pair of scissors, some thin white washi tape. I'm using some Elmer's glue today. And then we have two versions of the key. We have the sticker version of the key, which you can buy in the shop in a half page like this. And then we also have a printed version of the key on some heavier white paper here. So the first way I'm gonna show you is the more traditional way to put a key in your planner. You can pick almost any page that you want for this to go in your planner. I'm gonna start with the last page here. When you get your key, you'll just pop it right out. They're all, all everything out of my store is currently hand cut for quality. Then you're gonna take it and fold it along the gray line here. If you have a bone scorer tool, you may want to use that here to help you. But once you have the basic fold along the gray line, you can also just take scissors or a straight edge or anything like that to push it down to flatten it out. Okay. Now I'm going to fold it back in on itself. When I have it folded in like this, I'm going to take my Elmer's glue. Or if you want to, I would usually use a the Tombow mono adhesive, but I know that some viewers have said that they don't have you know access to all the things I have, so we're using just some regular old craft glue that you can get at like the grocery store, at the craft store, wherever. I'm gonna go to the side here, my page, and then you're gonna figure out where do you want this? Do you want it in the middle? the top, the bottom. I'm going to go for the middle here. And I'm going to line the folded edge line the folded edge up with the very edge of my paper down here. So take your folded edge, you want to make sure that the folded edge goes right to the edge of the paper. Like so. Since this is Elmer's glue, we're going to want to leave this to dry a while. While you're waiting for it to dry, you can very gently unfold it, grab your white washi tape or whatever color washi tape you want to use, and secure down the edge, like so. Be careful when you're gluing it down that you don't accidentally glue it face forward into the page. Okay. Then you can put a full page sticker over this. Um, I use it for scrapbooking for things that happen during the year. But now you have a key that folds out so that when you're planning, You'll know what colors there are, what colors things are, um, what different symbols mean. Uh, makes it a lot easier for you to plan out your month when you have your key just flipping right there. And then when you're not using it, you can just fold it away into your planner. The second way of adding a key into your passion planner is going to require a little bit of hacking the planner itself. What we're going to do if we had it installed it over here, is actually install it into this back flap and turn this back flap into a fold out page. Here, we're gonna use our X-Acto knife. And we're gonna cut right along the seam here. 
it's a lot easier to use an exacto knife to do that than it is to try and get your scissors in there. Now we have a flip out page. I'm going to take the exacto knife again, cut off this excess. I take two cuts. I would cut very gently when you're doing this little planner surgery because you don't want to actually cut through the cover of your planner. So just be real careful, real gentle. I'm sure some of you are like, oh my God, I can't believe she's doing that. Yep, I'm doing this. on the other side. Sure it gets easy. I mean, I don't use the back pocket ever because I keep mine in a cover. Please note though that if you use a cover that's not a traveler's notebook style cover, you're using the cocoa paper cover that I use then you're not gonna be able to do this method because your the back cover of your planner is gonna be in the side of your cover. Okay, I don't know how that got, I think I know how that got to work actually. All right, you can fold these inside and glue down. down. Two flaps go down. If you are so inclined, you could also use the epoxy that I used in my video where I added a ribbon to my planner. And then we'll just glue this fold down. Nice thing is this page is got some paper back to it. This is all paper here. So the glue will adhere fairly nicely. Don't have to use the adhesive. Okay. That feels real nice. We're gonna take our key. Here. Now, this key is um, printed so that you can fold it. Since you don't actually need to fold it, we can go back in with our X-Acto knife and a straight edge, and we can clean that up. I'm just gonna grab a bookmark that I happen to have handy, rather than go looking for my straight edge. May not be the best idea. I may be cutting into the planner itself here. Yeah, not bad. I'm going to pull our key out. Our trimmed down key, specifically. I'm going to flip open my planner here so I can see where my edge is. And then the key can go right there on the edge. Or I can move it out here if I wanted to. I'm going to keep it kind of near the edge here. Actually, it's a little sloppy. So I'm going to move mine to the right at the edge here. So you can see what I'm doing.
Once again, I now have a key that, I, that opens up and folds away. So if I don't need it, it's folded away, but if I want to use it, I can just fold it out and I know what code equals what, what color equals what, etc. And of course, this is the same planner where I did this key on a, piece, on a page. The difference, it's really dependent on how much you want to use this back page here versus how much you intend to use this pocket. Also, again, if you're going to put your planner into a cover like I have my planner in, this back flippy page is not going to work out for you. You're going to want to do this page here. And you only really use this, lose this tiny bit of the back page there. So there we are. Two different ways to add a key to your passion planner. Of course, you don't have to add a key to the back of your passion planner. You can print it out on a bookmark, which will be available in the store soon, or you can again put it into the front of your planner on the, on the cover page. Whatever works for you, however you want to use your key in your planner. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please remember to like, leave a comment, and subscribe in order to see new content when it launches every Wednesday. Till then, this is Elizabeth of ERWplans.com, Instagram ERW underscore plans, and Etsy ERWplans.etsy.com. Become a patron and see all the outtakes, blooper reels, and more on our Facebook group. The Patreon address is erwplans.patreon.com. Thanks, guys. Bye.